Hello everyone, welcome back to the farm. Um, I'm going to kick this episode off with a time lapse of me mowing, windrowing, and picking up this grass field. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So this is going to be pretty cool.
Hello. I am back from mowing. Uh, it seems the sheep's sleeping here. Would you look at that? But yep, I am done mowing. Now, you might be wondering, uh, who's that driving a tractor? It's actually the person who's been taking care of the sheep for me. Like, who's one of my helpers, basically. And she's currently wind rowing. Because uh, it was raining. I could not stand the rain. So she decided to volunteer and do it for me. Now, it's actually very cool because, you know, I'm glad she volunteered. But, I've also talked to Jock at the junkyard. So, we're going to head over there and we are going to discuss. No, we are going to discuss um, about getting a getting me a tractor with a cab. Now, that Massey Ferguson 185, I can't stand it not having a cab, especially when it was raining the other night. Like, I just couldn't take it. So I'm going to see if he has a tractor over there with a cab, because I know he gets agricultural machinery. And, you know, not only does he get the stuff that the shop doesn't want, but people go to him to scrap their old tractors. So I want to see if he has anything. I mean, you never know. You could always have something interesting. And alright, we're here. I'll just walk here and let me get out and uh, walk up to him. Uh, I, th I think I see him in there. Alright, let me uh, just walk up and. <laughs> okay, buddy. Alright, so he said he's got a small tractor over at the warehouse that he wants me to take a look at. Well, he's got one with the cab right in front of me here. Yep, there it is. He said his blue couldn't miss it. A Ford 7810? I believe that said. Yeah. It's a Ford 7810. It's nice. Let me hop in. See if it starts up. Oh, that's check engine and stuff like that. But hey, at least it runs. Does it drive? Is the thing. And yes, it does. It drives. Would you believe that? Like, that's crazy. I mean, I never would expect this to drive. Alright, now let's back it up to make sure it doesn't look like we're just stealing it. Does this have any lights? Oh, good. All the lights are working. Oh, that's great. Oh, awesome. I'm definitely going to have to trade in my Massey Ferguson for this. Because, oh my god, that's such a better tractor. I think it has a slightly better horsepower, too. Great, now, where's the warehouse at? Uh, oh, let me take a look at my phone. He said it was right over here. But just, that tractor, man, is so nice. Alright, yeah. Let's so over to the warehouse. Let me walk past all these old junk vehicles. And there it is. That's the tractor. What's that, uh... Farmall, McCormick Farmall, H, Super H, e Super H. It's nice. I like. I think it's from like the 50s, like 1951 or whatever. Look at those wheels bent in like that. That's actually very interesting. I think it might be like a plowing setup. Now I don't need to have plowing because you know grass regrows. That seat's on a spring. Nice, and the engine looks like it's working. Let's see. Hop in. Let's see if it's working. Yes, it is. Yeah, I thought so. This looks in pretty great condition, and it does run. Okay, okay, I'm liking this. Let's see, does it have any lights? Yes, it does. Cool, it works. All right, I might actually trade in my Z Tour for that. My 25K. Sure, it's a pretty rare tractor, but. I might actually do that. Now that loading ramp, that might be useful for loading stuff on my my truck. But yeah, I'll probably trade in my Massey Ferguson and my Z-Tour for, you know, this, for this McCormick and that Ford. 
I think it is such a great deal, and I and I could probably ask him. You know, probably give him a call later about if he's interested in that. I know they might be hard to get tractors, but I'm pretty sure my Z tour is rare, like a rare tractor, like you know, not not made that much. And the Massey Ferguson is very common. So let's see if um, you know, can hook me up with that. Man, people drive down this road pretty fast. I mean, sure, I'm one of them. What's well, crazy when they like take that those wide turns and almost hit me? But I mean, I go into the grass as you see here when I turn. You know, I, I don't go all the way in. It's pretty crazy. All right, let's uh drive back up in here. All right, perfect. All right, let's see if uh, they're done wind rowing. I don't think they are. I think they might be like halfway down the field. So let's walk up here. And oh uh, yeah, they got some rows done. So I'll I'll probably uh, get out the Ford's wagon and start running it. Now that could be a bit better. But yeah, these are all nice, but chunky at the end. Well, that's fine. So let me go grab the Ford's wagon and load this up. Now, I'm not going to do a time lapse because I know you people don't like watching the time lapses. I've checked my analytics. A lot of you just skip right over it, which, I mean, I understand. So, I'm going to cut the footage here and I'm going to go walk up inside the Massey Ferguson and I'm going to start uh, forage harvesting. Now, I'm only going to harvest enough that I can, really, because, I mean, if I fill this thing up to explosion, that's going to be way too much, and I don't know where to... Say there's stuff left over, I don't know where to put, so I'm not going to pick it all up right now. I'm only going to pick up what... Hey, everyone. I'm back from mowing. Now, it's mowed and it's wind road, but it's not all forged yet, because I have so much in this forged wagon already. Oh, look at this, I got, got that much in here. And I'm only gonna fill up the rest when the sheep need it. Because that is more food than they'll need for like the rest of their lives. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Alright, but it's time to make some trade deals over at the junkyard. And now, I've called uh, front walk at the, at the junkyard, and he said he'd be more than happy for me to trade in my tractors. Because he says he prefers my tractors to what he has there because he doesn't like having uh, the Ford and the and what's the McCormick because nobody would pose interest but for stuff like a rare Z Tour 25k I put this tractor right here rare it's like a like a left leg is forbidden one kind of rare there's not that many of them so, because of that, he prefers this tractor to the Cormac, so he's going to help me swap this out. And the, the Massey Ferguson, he says he wouldn't mind that one. The Ford, I mean, nobody really wants to buy the Ford, but now that he'll have a Massey Ferguson, that's what a lot of people like, because, you know, a lot of people have Massey Ferguson's. A lot of people have them. Especially over here in the UK. So, he has one of those and says, hey, we got Massey Ferguson. Uh, we got a tractor and no parts that you can take off of it. People will start flocking to the junkyard and they'll be able to get more sales. 
even in those, even these guys got a massive of those parked out front. So, yeah. Which I think is a much cooler tractor. Not as rare. Not it's slightly older. But I just love the international tractors. Like I mean what? The 1455 I had in the previous farm? That's still probably one of if not my favorite tractor of all time. Just because of how, you know, useful it was. But now that we're getting this, it's pretty cool. So we're bringing this back to the farm, and... I don't think the sheep need any water, so I'll hook up to the water tank. But they should be pretty fine on water. You know, this thing handles really nice. It's a light oversteer, but that's usually what you should be known for with tractors. The seat is nice, you know, it's on that spring, which gives me, uh, you know, good support. It's got inflated tires, which is nice. I can't believe I got one of these. I mean, I've never heard of a farm all age. I mean, I've heard of the farm all. It's a classic. You know, if you're gonna have a farm, you need to know what a farm all is. But the age version, I've never heard of. That's actually pretty cool. Park my tractor on the side of that fence. Oops. Yeah, the fence is actually really sturdy. It might not look like it, but very sturdy. So, you know, just so I can show it off to people, I'm gonna park it out in the front. Just so I can show people. Yeah, I got a tractor from the fifties, but oh, for sure that's what uh what people you can drill here. Like if they have nice tractors, they'll park it out in the front. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Alright. Now, let's go grab the 186. Which, turns out, and... Uh, the new Fast and Furious movie, uh, Vin Diesel is actually working on, a uh, Massive Ferguson 160. Which is literally the exact same as my tractor, but just with a slightly worse engine. Which I think is funny. So it's a nice little detail you can pay out for. Pay, pay attention out for. You know, I, I've, I've been having a hard time speaking today. It's like 11 a.m. Probably go get some, uh, breakfast. Now, there's some nice little diners here. Sadly, they don't always have the American food. But I will tell you there's a nice diner right up the street which has some uh, really good French toast. I mean, a breakfast place. You can't really make bad French toast. But it is good. We'll see if uh, Jacques wants to go out and have some breakfast. I mean, that's what me and him usually do. I mean, we're really good friends. Like, well, when I first got situated here, he heard of uh, my arrival, because, you know, the, the mayor reached out to me. Like, the prime farmland. So, he wanted to come on and meet me. Now, he is a bit camera shy. That's why 
I never really show them on camera. Which I mean, fair, I mean I'll protect their privacy rights. Yeah, he's really cool. He's like, he's like a Todd type of character. Now, I don't know if any of you people who are not subscribed to my channel know who that is, but those who are subscribed, you, you guys know who that is. Yeah, he's very much a Todd type of character. I know he's probably watching this, to be honest. You see, Jock's the kind of guy that you go out, you know, you say you're gonna get some bathroom, and then you go to the vending machine. Alright. Perfect. this. Right on up here. I don't really, I mean, I say I don't like the drivers on these roads because, you know, the way they take turns, but then again, I can fly down these roads when there's nobody. So, let me bring the tractor back. I know this might be a shorter episode because I cut out the, the farming aspect of farming. But it's fine. I mean, you guys will understand. I mean, it's hap that's what happened to you guys several occasions. Where you, you know, not only did your camera die, but also, you know, you look at your analytics and be like, hey, people didn't really, really like watching this part of the video. So, let's cut out this part of the video. Wait, oh, yeah, is there a latch in here? Hold on, let me turn myself around a bit. Isn't there like a latch in here where you can... Yeah, there you go. You can flip that up, but I think you can go out even more. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Get some nice air. Alright, there we go. close the door. Oh, look at that. I never realized that's actually like a mesh. I always thought that was like black. I never realized that was a mesh. Which is something that you like, like oh, how would you never notice? I never looked at the front of this tractor. That's interesting. I actually never noticed that. I thought it was just straight black. Alright, but Nice, now I got the 7810 and the 3095. Huh. Just funny. Alright. But. Speaking of funny. I've, uh. Got some parts for this arcade cabinet. So. The next time you see a. Like an episode where I'm here. You know, at this farm, because next episode, I will not be at this farm. I'll be at my old one, since I'm going to be heading for the holidays. So, like, May, when you see, when you come back, I do have parts for these. I basically have, like, an emulator built in where I can play any arcade game I want. I don't have to pay money, I can just turn it on and play whatever. The only thing I have really, like storage for is a uh, dig dug if you guys have ever heard that so I'll see you guys in the next episode where I'm not gonna be here which is gonna be interesting so that'll be a maybe a bit of a longer episode we'll see I'm um, sorry this was a short episode I'm 
I wanted to make it longer, but the actual farming aspect is something that you guys would not have wanted to watch. Alrighty. Uh, I guess I'll leave you guys here with this one.